Beizheim. The family business closed, but the ghostly glass and steel landscapes endured. The hot air burned within, bending the zinc planters, steel pipes, and other obscure vein-like structures. The skeletons of what once was home to life and growth now ingested, reduced to their rusty materiality. The environment where nature was nourished has turned into opulent wilderness of bacteria, weeds, and decay. Falling down from the ceiling, black droplets leaven the fertile ground's end floors. The resin flow moves slowly through the porous web, sticking to the walls, imperfections and details. Flowers plunge into temporary obscurity as the earth becomes soaked with the black liquid. Sunlight, reduced to a wide narrow beam, continues to uncover the plants. It balances out darkness that follows. cannot be captured on film. For insects, flower devoid of smell becomes inert, neutral. As the early stages of decay set in, the palette changes from vivid greens to bronze and delicate ochre. The landscape becomes that of constant flux and change. A fecund land of possibilities decorticates its ephemeral tissue in order to become a grain a timber of a future object. Forced into symbolic shape which fuses the materia giving it common purpose. The ancient form with a planned obsolescence. Crumbling under the weight of time, it becomes dependable on the habitat. The temperature and humidity continue to shape it, making creation synonymous with decay. Light pushes through the glass membrane. It extends till it is almost completely translucent, capable of shaping the heat turns flowers into ashes and those into shadows.
Is this amber creature dead or alive? Constantly becoming, the idea begins to inhabit this man-made environment, capable of incubating the memory of time, space, and the creative act. It remains alive with possibilities. <laughs> 